Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you three really quick ways to make decorative pumpkins. These methods are ideal if it's getting close to Halloween and you're running out of time. One method is going to require a roll of toilet paper, one is going to require a hair donut, and the last one is going to require some twine, as well as some fabric and some other little bits and pieces. A few tips to make the best looking pumpkin displays include making an odd number of pumpkins, using different fabrics and textures, and also using different sizes. I'm going to be making three pumpkins in a variety of fabrics and textures in three different sizes. Okay, so for the first method, we'll be using the hair donut. This is a product that you'll find in the hair and beauty section, and they are available in a few different sizes, although all of them quite small. Therefore, this is going to make my smallest pumpkin. The first thing you're going to need is a square of fabric that's wide enough on all sides for you to bring the edges into the centre. You can use all sorts of fabrics for these pumpkins, including old clothes. Just make sure that you don't use any stiff fabrics, like a stiff canvas, or anything slippery, like lycra. For this particular pumpkin, because it's so small, you don't want to use a thick fabric either. In my opinion, the best fabric to use is a thin fleece. And that's what I've got here. Once you've cut out a square of fabric that's the right size, you want to make this into a circle. So fold it in half, twice, and then cut a curve like so. Make sure this curve is cut on the open sides of the fabric, away from the folded edges. The result will be a circle of fabric that's just the right size. Place the hair donut in the center of this circle and then simply fold in the edges. Try and fold in two opposite sides first and then fold in the two remaining sides in two overlapping sections. Keep holding on to the fabric as you do this, and then by the end, the fabric should hold itself in place. Try to make it as even and symmetrical as possible. And then to finish, you just need to add a stalk. To do this, you can use all sorts of materials from felt to fabric to twigs. I personally just painted a section of a twig with gold acrylic paint. You just need to push it into the centre of the donut and then it's finished. And then for method number two, you're going to need a roll of toilet paper as well as another square of fabric. This piece of fabric needs to be big enough so that all the edges can be pushed down into the centre of the toilet roll. Plus you'll need a little bit extra because we'll be adding padding to the outside of the roll as well. Once you've determined how big of a square of fabric you need, fold it in half twice, and then again, turn it into a circle as we did before. Again, make sure you cut the curved line away from the folded edges. Once you've cut out your circle, place the toilet roll in the center, and then you'll want to add some stuffing around the outside. This is to prevent making a blocky or a square shaped pumpkin. I'm using polyester stuffing for this, but you can use scrunched up old clothes or even scrunched up toilet paper. Try and keep the stuffing evenly distributed all around the roll. Bring in the fabric edges like so and push them down into the center of the toilet roll. Do this with opposite edges first and then fold in the remaining fabric in overlapping sections, whilst also trying to keep the stuffing spread out evenly. You can redo this or spend as much time as you want making it nice and neat and then you just place the stalk into the centre of the roll. To make my stalk I just cut out a rectangle of green felt, added glue and then rolled it up. Because of the height of the toilet roll you could use a long stalk instead like this if you wish. Right, so now we're on to method number three, where we're mainly going to need some fabric, some stuffing and some twine. You'll also need an elastic band and a safety pin. This method is the most versatile because you can make any size of pumpkin, whereas with the previous two methods, you were limited to the size of the items inside, i.e. the toilet roll and the hair donut. Again, you're going to need a square of fabric, 
and the size of this is going to depend on how big you want your pumpkin to be. For the fabric, I'm using a fairly thick orange velvet, which I think looks very effective. Place some stuffing in the center of this fabric and form it into a ball so that it holds its shape better. And make sure that the fabric can easily encase it with a little bit of excess. Bring each of the four sides of fabric into the center and use a safety pin to hold them in place. Then bring in the corners in two overlapping sections. Then use an elastic band to hold these corners together. Then cut a long length of twine and tuck one end into the elastic band. Wrap the twine around the elastic band until it's hidden. Then tuck in the end of the twine to secure it in place. And then all that's left to do is cut across the excess fabric at the top, just to neaten it up. The fabric and the twine basically forms its own stalk. And that's how you make three different pumpkins very quickly and easily. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.